Hi, everybody. Welcome to Learning to Budget After 40. I recently made an adjustment to the name because I really didn't think this through when I created this channel about two years ago that I'm no longer, I was only going to be 40 for one year. So this is a zero based budgeting channel. I have an Excel sheet that I, I use that zero based budgeting method on. I have my cash envelope system and these little tools, helpers that I use to help me stay on budget and work my way out of debt. As of right now, I am $44,468.28 in debt, which I am slowly working down. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so one thing that I'm going to be also adding or changing to my channel is I'm going to be sharing my balances with you guys every time I film a budget video. So as of right now, I am, let's see, $44,468.28 in debt, $32,986.49 is in student loans, and $11,481.79 is in consumer debt. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's something that I'm going to be um, just pointing out every time I make a video. So uh, before we get cash stuffing, and which I already went to the bank, um, I got my money. We're only going to be cash stuffing $320, but before we stuff anything... I take out any ones, fives, and coins for my savings challenges. Now, because this is um, new to me, and new to me being that I have separated from my ex, I am now uh, roommating. This is like my second paycheck that I'm budgeting um, being single and having to pay rent. And this is also my lowest paycheck of the year. So all I have left are coins. So I have about, I don't know, uh, two, I have like over $2 and change here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in my little cupcake. I always start off with my cupcake. Once I fill this up, I go to my dotty, which is my pig, piggy bank, which is much, much bigger than this. Um, I am going to admit that I, um, didn't realize that this paycheck was going to be such a small paycheck. So when I went to the grocery store and I already spent what I allocated for my groceries, because I used my debit card because I had um, no groceries left, I had a panic attack in the car because I spent um, over $120. So um, I had to make some adjustments because this is like a day and a half after I filled the budgeting portion of my video. So I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer and show you guys what I had to do. Okay, so a couple of adjustments. I had to go to the grocery store, so I made my two store trips. I ended up spending $122.91, which is $2.91 over budget for what I usually do. Um, I, I, I don't know why I didn't realize that. February is a short month and I just panicked and I kind of blamed it like I don't know I, my mind was just reeling at the time because I'm single I'm trying to figure things out on my own um, trying to adjust my budget so when I was living with my ex our grocery budget as you can see here is 120 but I used to I had it I doubled it which is how I got the number 120 um, I did buy uh, a, I bought a bunch of like sparkling water and flavored water for like what I would usually buy for the both of us, I bought it in this one trip. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. However, I do have some side hustle money because I didn't get everything. I literally got everything on my grocery list except for chicken because I already have some in the house, but that's not going to last me until my next payday. So um, I realized that I have some side hustle money. So instead of waiting till the end of the month to film that, uh, when I need to use that money, I'm going to go ahead and film my side hustle video um, sooner than what I would have liked. So um, as you can see, I still have some money left over. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have any money left over because it's zero-based budgeting. And instead of 
pulling out $350 like I should have right here. I only pulled out $340 because I had to go to the ATM machine. So gas is only going to get 10 and then I'm going to leave that other $10 as a buffer, which I have my, see, I got my little buffer line there. So I'm going to change that to 1353, uh, 1353. And then that way I still have my buffer. So I'm only going to be stuffing gas and rent for this video. Okay guys. So uh, we are only going to be cash working with $340, so I have 100, 200, 300, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Perfect. Now, let me just go ahead and move this to the side. Look up. Oh, I want to show you guys my candle. Isn't that adorable? I got it from a Horror Vibes coffee shop in Los Angeles when I went down there for my little weekend getaway. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Isn't that super cute? I love it. This is single AF, FYI. And then the knife has like a little bit of silver grayish to it. Love my candle. I have it on my desk. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. First category, our one of second is going to be rent and it's going to get $330. So we got one, two, three, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So let's go ahead and add that to our rest. So we should have 350, no, 650. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, 620, 640, 645, 650. So that completes that. And that is done until next time. And then gas is gonna go in this little envelope. And I just filled up, so 10 is just fine. Fine, and um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my set of hustle money when I need to buy chicken because I'm gonna eventually need it. So um, I'm gonna hold off on that as much as I can. So same thing with gas. If I need it, I'll take some out of the side hustle money and I'll probably put like another 10 in here, but I'm gonna try to be frugal and um, well, no, I don't want to be frugal because I did go out to eat. Like I went to go, I went to go out to eat with a friend that I just made here because I don't have any friends here. So I just made a friend. He's in my kickboxing class, and um, I actually go have coffee with him most Mondays after our Monday morning kickboxing class. And we decided to go have dinner. Um, he doesn't drink, and I drink very little, so we figured it would be a good idea to just hang out, you know, because we both have fitness goals, goals, and he doesn't have any friends that. His friends, I guess that he has, they drink a lot and they smoke a lot. So they tend to overeat and uh, we're trying to make like healthy friends. So healthy as in like, you know, trying to fitness goals, weight loss goals, stuff like that. So we're doing that. So I do, I did set aside money for, um, uh, for, Um, you know, dinner and then uh, Panera bread for coffee, which is just $5. But yeah, that's so I'm not being frugal, but um, I'm just trying to be more aware of what I'm spending my money on. So um, obviously, I still adjusting to just being me and not having the cushion that my ex used to provide. Right, so that kind of sucks that I don't have that and I have to go through these adjustments and then I had to make these adjustments during this month because that really did um, kind of put me through a loop just seeing how small my, pay my paycheck was. But then again, it's a nine day paycheck instead of like 14 days or like a full, oh, wait, well, wait a second, it's only one day short. But that one day did make a difference though. Anyways. Well, anyways, guys, uh, crisis averted. Everything that needed to get done is done. I have what I need. I'm not lacking in anything. I'm adjusting. I think I'm just panicking or I panic because it's just me now. So um, there's that. But anyways, I am doing good. I am working through this breakup, working through my budget, losing weight, eating healthy, being mindful of my spending, being intentional with my spending. And um, the stress eating has stopped. 
So I'm really happy about that. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for tuning in to Learning to Budget After 40. Hope you guys take care and make good choices.